are going to be making some healthier, I guess, if you want to call it, Super Bowl treats. If you're going to have a Super Bowl party at your house. And these are some healthier options that we like to eat. I'm going to make it for you guys and we'll show you. You guys can try it and maybe you'll want to make it. Not everything has to be fried and greasy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I do love my hot wings, but mm -hmm. I can't always have them. I do love some potato skins, but I can't always have them. I do love my french fries fried and some grease with some olive oil and some rosemary. But I like potatoes anyway. But I can't always have them. So today we're going to be making broccoli tots and loaded mashed potato balls so i like mashed potatoes anyway you can get them not fried well like potato skins fried so, so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do that and then we'll be back so you can see what's going on okay so we're gonna go ahead and start with the broccoli tots so for the broccoli tots we just need one head of broccoli a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs one cup of cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar, any cheese that you prefer, two eggs, a third cup of onions, and salt and pepper. So first we're gonna go ahead and start by placing the broccoli into some boiling water with a little bit of salt added for about five to six minutes till it's tender enough to poke with your fork. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the broccoli to the water. And just for a few minutes, about five to six minutes or till whenever it's tender enough to uh, to poke with your fork hot water seasoned with salt just let it boil you can cover it if you prefer just turn it up on high and let it do what it do okay so i have my broccoli that's already cooked here right it's nice and soft you want it kind of small anyway and that you can chop up and do what you need to do with it Gonna go ahead and add all the ingredients to it. Um, of course, I boiled it in a little bit of salt water already, so it has flavor. So we'll add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And go ahead and add your one third cup of onions. Chop them up as finely as you would like them to be. I have my um, cheddar cheese. This is about a cup of cheddar cheese. I think I'm gonna add all of it though. Might be about good enough for that. Planko breadcrumb. This is a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then we have two eggs here. make sure you get no shells into your mixture mix everything up um, when you're done mixing you're going to go ahead and put it in if you have many muffin pans you can use many muffin pans or many muffin cups which is what we have and it'll work just fine. All right, so now I have everything mixed up, if, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop, put a spoonful into each little muffin cup here. Once you have these all um, filled with the um, broccoli mixture, you'll go ahead and bake it in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes on 400 degrees. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make these potato balls. So for this, we'll do about another cup of cheese. I don't know if I'll put all of it in there. Um, this is some 
it's green onions, chives or whatnot. And then add for cayenne pepper. Preference, of course, any of this is a preference. I like onions, green onions, scallions, whatever works for me. Cayenne pepper, just a dash of it. Cause I ain't trying to burn nobody's mouth. So we're gonna mix all that together. And then what you're gonna do is make little balls out of it. Dip it in your egg, coat it with the egg, plank of breadcrumbs, and voila. So now I'm gonna take some, make a little ball. Also, this is room temperature. It's been sitting out the potato. Make a little ball. So this is a good ball. I'm going to coat it with some egg. Coat it with some Planko breadcrumbs. Like so. And stick in our air fryer. So I'm gonna do it again. And this mixture should give you about 20 or so of these. Okay, we're back. And we have the finished product of our broccoli tots and our um, loaded mashed potato bowls. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and try the loaded, I mean, no, the broccoli tots first. And go. good but we're gonna add more cheese oh, okay so i will never make it when he makes it i'll never eat it when he makes it because i don't want a lot of cheese but i like it all right so let's go on to the next i'm trying to finish my broccoli bite that's gonna give me a problem so the next thing would be the loaded potato balls yeah. yep he likes mashed potatoes you ready yes I'm talking too much. You just want to eat it, don't you? <laughs> All right, go. They're good. They're delicious. It's hot. Mm -hmm. And they were oh, cooked in an air fryer. Mm hmm. And they're crunchy. Perfectly seasoned. Little balls of fun. So, give this a try. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Tell us if you made any changes. Mm -hmm. Great little finger food for a Super Bowl. Super Bowl party. Appetizers. Need a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> Not if they appetizers. But we'll put the recipes down in the description box if you want to make them, feel free. Again, like he said, let us know if there's any changes you've made, if you kept the full recipe, maybe mm -hmm. you used a different cheese or added a little more salt and pepper. But all of course, salt and pepper is just a taste. But anyway, mm -hmm. go ahead and give it a try. So subscribe. Turn on those notifications and hit that like button, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. A thing we know. Oh, 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 oh,